Harold Beck & Sons Incorporated provides a free service to its customers for determining the optimal linkage setups for many applications. In this video, we will review how to obtain the required dimensions for Beck to provide this service, called Link Assist. The acquired dimensions will be used to complete a linkage setup worksheet. Once completed, the worksheet can be faxed or emailed to a Beck sales or application engineer to evaluate and run a Link Assist analysis. There are four basic linkage arrangements that represent the distances or offsets between the center of the Beck actuator output shaft and the center of the damper shaft. Each of these arrangements has a representative worksheet that is available for download at this website. The first linkage arrangement consists of a horizontal offset dimension only, with the damper to the left or right of the actuator. The second linkage arrangement consists of a vertical offset dimension only, with the damper above or below the actuator. The third and fourth arrangements are considered diagonal arrangements. This means that these arrangements have both a horizontal and vertical offset dimension. In either arrangement, the damper can be above or below the actuator, or to the right or left of the actuator. For this installation, we will be measuring the dimensions between a Beck actuator output shaft and damper lever arm shaft for a typical setup. The drive and driven shafts face opposite directions. We can disregard that when measuring offsets. We've selected a diagonal worksheet that best represents our installation. The first step is to measure the vertical and horizontal offsets from the center of the damper shaft to the center of the Beck shaft. We'll use a level and tape measure to obtain the vertical dimension. Record the vertical offset on the worksheet. We'll now measure the horizontal offset using a plumb line and tape measure. The horizontal offset will be recorded on the worksheet. The next step is to measure the damper lever arm radius. Record the radius on the worksheet. We'll now measure the open and closed angles of the damper lever arm. It's a good idea to have someone visually verify the position of the damper blades to be sure they are at the correct limits. When measuring open and closed angles with an angle finder, be careful to measure from the lever arm center line. Measuring angles on tapered lever arm surfaces can lead to inaccurate angle measurements. Using an angle finder, measure the closed angle of the damper lever arm. Sketch the closed angle on the worksheet. Move the damper to the full open position and measure the damper lever arm angle. Sketch the open angle on the worksheet. From this, the damper's travel can be determined in degrees. Be sure to fill out the application information shown on the bottom of the linkage worksheet prior to submitting the worksheet to Beck. We have obtained all the information needed to submit to Beck for a link assist analysis. A Beck sales or application engineer can now provide the recommended setup information for the actuator crank arm and linkage. Please contact a Beck Applications Engineer if further assistance is required.